this one is from the Cookie Dough Lovers Cookbook by Lindsay Landis. I bought this book on Amazon. It originally got brought to my attention from a Pinterest recipe. I bought the book and I really enjoy it. It has some great cookie dough based recipes. So if you love that flavor, you're going to really enjoy this cookbook. So onto the ice cream recipe, starting off with one cup of heavy cream. I'm using 18% cream, which is not what we call heavy cream here, but it'll do quite nicely. Use whatever kind of cream you want. Place that bowl into another bowl that has some water and some ice in it and set that aside. Now in a medium sized saucepan, place another cup of heavy cream and try not to spill it all over your stovetop. Then add one cup of milk. I'm using 2% milk, but you could use whole milk as well. And one half cup of brown sugar and a pinch of salt. Cook that over medium heat, stirring occasionally until it begins to steam and that the sugar is dissolved. And then set it aside. In a medium sized bowl, place four egg yolks and whisk those together until the color changes a little bit and it lightens. And then you're going to add about half of that heated cream and sugar mixture, a little bit at a time, whisking after each addition. And what this will do is it'll heat up the egg yolks so that when we add the egg yolks to the saucepan like we're doing right here, they won't curdle or they won't cook and become scrambled eggs. Cook the mixture over medium heat, stirring constantly for about five to seven minutes or until the temperature of the mixture is between 165 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll thicken up as it cooks and it'll begin to coat the back of a spoon. You do not want this to boil. Once it thickens up and reaches the right temperature, remove it from the heat and pour it through a sieve or a strainer into that cold cream that we started with at the beginning. And the reason we sieve it is sometimes you'll get some larger pieces that stuck to the bottom of the pan and you don't want those in your ice cream. Then add a teaspoon of vanilla and start stirring that vanilla in and continue to stir the mixture over top of that ice water and that'll cool it down very quickly. And once the mixture is cooled down quite a bit, then you're going to cover the surface of it with a little bit of plastic wrap. Refrigerate this for several hours or overnight until it is very cold and well chilled. And the reason you put the plastic wrap on the top is to keep a little dried skin from forming on the top of your custard. Now for the cookie dough portion. In a medium sized bowl, place one half cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of white granulated sugar, and one half cup of unsalted butter that's been brought to room temperature and blend it together until it is light and fluffy. Now add one half teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of milk or cream. I used milk. Then three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour and blend those things together until it is nice and smooth. Then add the chocolate chips. I'm using one half cup of miniature chocolate chips, but you can use regular sized ones as well. And I also added a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you use salted butter, then omit the salt. Chill this in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes until it is easy to work with because you want to make tiny little cookie dough balls to put in your ice cream. And it's just easier to work with if it's chilled, otherwise it'll be really sticky. The recipe says to make marble sized cookie dough balls. But having made this recipe, I would recommend that you make them a lot smaller than that. Make them half the size of a regular marble. And yeah, I totally ate that piece right there. And it was really good. Place the cookie dough balls in the freezer while you churn your ice cream. Now my mixture sat in the refrigerator overnight and then I poured it into my electric ice cream maker. And now you're going to churn the ice cream according to the manufacturer's directions of whatever machine you are using. Once it reaches like a soft served kind of a texture, I removed it and placed it into a plastic container. And then I added the well chilled or frozen cookie dough balls to the mixture. And I recommend that you put a piece of plastic wrap or, or wax paper down on the plate that you're using because they stuck quite a bit. And then stir in the cookie dough balls into the ice cream. Now my ice cream had been in the freezer for maybe a little bit too long before I added the cookie dough balls because I had a timing issue when I was making the cookie dough. So it's better to stir them in just after it comes out of the ice cream maker because it's easier to, easier to stir in because it's softer. But it worked. And what I ended up doing is I ran a knife through this ice cream and I cut the, most of those cookie dough balls in half because I really realized that they were just way too big. 
Then put your ice cream back in the freezer and chill it until it's very firm. And then you're ready to scoop it and serve it. This ice cream is delicious. If you've never had homemade ice cream before, you really are missing out on something. I garnish the bowl with a couple of miniature chocolate chip cookies. The cookie dough with that ice cream is fantastic. If you love cookie dough, you will love this recipe. Now I also have a playlist that contains all my ice cream recipes as well as some other frozen treats. So click on your screen or see the link in the description box and check it out. Thanks for watching.